Hey, I'm Jeff Baumgartner with Light Reading. We're here in Denver at the Cable Next Gen Strategies and Technologies Conference. And I'm joined by Diane Christman with the Cable Center. Good to have a chance to talk to you here. Happy to be here, and I appreciate the time with you. Sure thing. So, big announcement from the Cable Center, the Sendeo Institute, and a new operating brand. I think I've got that right. So, talk a little bit about the uh, what that is, and, and we'll just get our bearings there. I am super excited about this news. It's terrific for us. It represents years of work. Um, I think the Sendeo Institute at the Cable Center is a perfect operating brand for the next evolution of the Cable Center. We are still going to be doing all the oral histories, maintaining and growing the archives, doing all of those things that steward the legacy of the industry. But when we think about Sendeo Institute, it's really a bridge between the entrepreneurial mission to the innovative future. And basically, the Sendeo Institute is a hub. It's a hub that includes our Entrepreneurship Academy. It's a thought leadership collective. It's content. It's new events. Um, it's an extension of the work we're doing at the Cable Center. So it goes, all goes underneath the Sendeo Institute, all those elements? Sort of. Okay. The Cable Center is still going to be the Cable Center. And right. think of that as the place where we're going to do all the things that we do under the Sendeo Institute mm -hmm. operating brand. Cable Hall of Fame, still the Cable Hall of Fame. Um, it's, it's an extension and a bridge between the past and the future, basically. Right. Well, I think it's kind of interesting because um, what we're finding in this industry that the word cable is starting to alter a little bit. It's like some organizations have taken it out or it's taken different billing, but you know, the Cable Center itself will maintain the name, but you know, this new operating brand. But for the, for the new operating brand, st strategically, maybe you can expand a little bit, elaborate on you know, the reasoning behind that. Absolutely. Um, you know, we've been talking about this, like I said, for a few years now. And we actually talked about, are we going to change our name? And we didn't want to. We didn't want to totally walk away from the Cable Center because a lot of what we do on the mission side with the legacy and all that is still very, very important. But we wanted something that represents um, what's next, a new day at the Cable Center. And so all of those kind of educational, entrepreneurial, academy courses, that's all going to reside under the Sendeo Institute. And with that, you're going to see more thought leadership from us. Um, more content around entrepreneurship and innovation, and basically just a blowout of it. We're creating a modern hub for connectivity. And speaking of connectivity, Sendeo is the Greek word for connection. Okay, perfect. So it works. It makes sense. Okay. And how does this tie in? Because you also had a, uh, this has been years in the making, but, you know, Vision 2025? Ooh, I'm so, glad you asked. Well, because this ties in, correct? Or, it does. Or does it? You it know, does. You tell me. Oh, no. This is okay. a part of Vision 2025, okay. which was our business plan that we established about three or four years ago. Yeah. We brought a bunch of the smartest minds in the industry together to help us envision what this would look like. So not only did it include the build out of the Entrepreneurship Academy, but what do we want to do with thought leadership? What do we want to do to keep all the ideas around innovation and entrepreneurship fresh. Um, so I like to think of it as bigger and better and more. Okay. Well, speaking of other things that are names that are sticking around the Cable Hall of Fame, that's no change to that. Uh, talk about what's what's happening in 2023, right? You have a, a new class. You have, we do. It's coming up. So what, what's, what can you tell us about the event coming up? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's like six weeks away. We're going to be at the Ziegfeld Ballroom in New York. Okay. It's on April 27th. Okay. Everybody needs to be there, super important. And the class is terrific. Tom Adams, Italia Camiso, Julie Lawless, Doug Holloway, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and Wanya Lucas. Well, I like how a show, is this the first time a show itself has nope. been, uh, shows have made it in on its own? Believe it or not. There's a lot of people did, underneath it. There's yeah. a lot of people underneath it. Yeah. And we did Breaking Bad and, um, the Sopranos. So okay. I think this is our third show. Okay. And we like to pick things that are groundbreaking, kind of pushing the envelope and really highlighting um, what's special about being on cable, and that is you can have an extended story, you can do things um, through cable that you can't necessarily do on broadcast TV. Okay. 
Well, I love that show and look forward to hearing more about the history of it and now Larry David and, and the crew put it together um, for HBO. And the um, last thing I want to ask you about are other priorities for you and, and the Cable Center for 2023. We talked about the Sindeo Institute. We're talking about the Cable Hall of Fame. I mean, those are two big things. What else can you say about uh, like what's on the front burner? Absolutely. Sure. Front burner is our entrepreneurship and innovation report, which is going to be released on March 23rd. This is the second annual. We bring voices from all over the industry and outside of the industry to talk about entrepreneurship and innovation. Mike Fries wrote the foreword, and it's terrific. Um, you can find it on our website. I can't wait. It's the second annual, and it's going to be a really good issue. The other thing that we're working on is a launch actually a development creation and launch of an innovation symposium at the Cable Center. Great. Very excited about that. All right, a lot on your plate, but thanks for walking through it all and diving into the announcement for this week. So great, it's great to have a chance to meet with you here in Denver. Well, you guys are great partners to us. We appreciate right. you and it's always wonderful to be a part of a Cable Next Gen conference. So great. thank you, Jeff. Sure thing, thanks Dan.